So I've had a delivery and it was wigs. I was too eager to open the packet. Um, I couldn't get them all back in the same bag. But I'm gonna show you the wigs that I have got. So I've got four wigs. We have got a tarot sort of color one, a mint one, a purple lilac one, and a pink one. I was very kindly gifted these wigs from a brand called Cuberti. I will literally put that here. And I'm gonna put all of their like links to the wigs, their brand, all of that jazz in the description so please check them out but yeah today i'm going to be doing a wig haul and i'm going to be trying these on and seeing what they look like on me so like all of the wigs come in a little bag and they also all come with a wig cap which is great because like otherwise if you just you need you kind of need to wear a wig cap underneath a wig it just keeps all your hair in place um i'll show you how i do a wig cap probably not the same as everyone else like there's plenty of different ways to do this sort of thing but I'm going to show you how I do it for like just putting on a wig for a look sort of thing because that's mainly what I'm going to use these wigs for like to do create different looks with them sometimes a wig really does bring a look together like these are great for cosplay great for makeup looks like all that sort of thing like fancy dress um these are such cool colors and I love them so yeah shall we just get into trying them on my head so as you can see I have like very straight blonde hair is pretty decent length as well these are all like a like sort of a long bob with bangs and very different colors so i'm super excited to try them on and just see how they're looking so first of all all of the wigs come with a wig cap so i'm gonna be popping one of these on my head i've already opened this one to try it out um the wig caps do actually come like this but the way i apply my wig cap like i just chopped a hole in the end of it oh my god excuse this i put gradual tan on last night and forgot to wash my hands afterwards <laughs> whoops but the way i do my wig cap like i need to have a hole in the top of it like i'll explain so first of all i'm gonna have to apply my wig cap before i put any of these wigs on so let me do that i'm just gonna show you like roughly how i do it this probably isn't how everyone else does it this is how um i do like i've done like a few wig thingies in like my um degree that i'm currently doing um so this is how they've taught us to do wig caps so don't blame me if it's not right so i just start by putting my hair up in a high ponytail just wearing a wig cap helps to get like all of your hairs out of the way so that they don't get in the way when you're applying the wig right so i am putting my hair into a high ponytail just with a scrunchie. It doesn't need to be too neat or anything. And then I've got my wig cap. As I said, I cut a hole in this side and I'm gonna whack this over my neck. I'm just gonna have it around my neck like this and I'm gonna make sure like the thicker edge is coming up. And I'm gonna kinda, I'll hold it there for a second and I'm just pulling it over my hair so that it's looking like this, so that it's all the way over my hair. And what I will do is, I'm gonna pull this out. So my bubble's out, so like my hair's just hanging free. And then what I like to do is pull the wig cap like as far over my hair as possible. And kind of like wash and machine my hair around in the wig cap to kind of like disperse it. And I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit more. I tend to put like the bulk of it at the back here. What I do is I pull it up and I just twist it it's secure and i'll pull it back over and like pin it um yeah this is probably a very lazy way compared to how some people do it so let's put these wigs on so they come like in a nicely little square to keep it all in shape and it also comes with a lovely like what is this called i don't why have i forgot the word of this thing what is it a net a net comes with a nice net covering it to keep it all in place and stop it getting damaged so i'll just show you what the inside of the wig looks like they all look like this so you have adjustable straps here to help it fit your head and we also have little pins the pins help anchor this into like your head and your wig net to stop the wig moving these are super soft like the hair on these feels so nice and super super soft and look the styles are so nice as well and you also have these pins at the front and looking down here we have little baby shorter hairs is and like it graduates so you've got like little baby shorter hairs down here 
to help like give a more natural look so that if you want to put the wig up then it will look natural up as well sometimes on um synthetic wigs like the hairlines are really overdone so like you can pluck the hairlines but this one isn't looking too bad to me like usually on synthetic wigs like there isn't much of a part in but this one's actually looking pretty good like i wouldn't need to pluck hairs out of this one to make it look more natural because it's already looking pretty natural but yes this is the first color let's get it on my head so to put this on i'm just gonna start at the back of my head and i'm going to just pull it on like quite roughly just so i can like position the wig really and then when i'm happy with the positionings i can just it's kind of hard to show but what i can do when i'm happy with it is just pull these cords and hook them together so that it stays on my head or there's a little bit that you can hook them on as well and i'm also going to grab that clip and just anchor that in at the bag back all i've done is just pull it down and just anchored it into the back of my head it's kind of hard to show because i can't really turn the camera around and i've done i'm doing the same with the front ones as well i'm just going to grab these and anchor these into my wig net what i'm doing i don't know if you can see but i'm grabbing the pins and i'm just pulling them and just pushing them into my wig net to keep the wig in place So I really like having bangs on a wig because if you are like not too confident applying a wig like these bangs literally cover everything so it's pretty cool but yeah this is the first wig what do we think of the colour I think the style is so nice like I love these waves and yeah they feel really soft and comfortable on your head as well like a lot of synthetic wigs are itchy but this just isn't I think I look so different with it on like I really like it I would actually just wear it like this like it actually looks so good it looks really natural as well like it doesn't obviously you can tell it's a wig because my hair isn't this color but like you can't see my natural hair through it the style is like so soft and just so easy to wear the bangs really do disguise anything and this is what it looks like from the back as well this looks so cool i love wearing a wig so i just feel like a completely different person like tarot purpley hair like i love it they also feel like super secure like it doesn't come off at all and it's comfortable as well i could wear it all day so that is wig number one what do we think let's do wig number two to take this off i'm literally just unanchoring the front bits so that they're out of my wig cap and i'm going to do the same to the strings at the back and the back anchor as well and there we go super easy to put on and off and super easy to wear so yeah like i said they all come with a wig cap but i'm just gonna keep this same one on because what's the point in changing it i love this color i hope this one suits me because this is such a nice color look how silky and shiny they are as well again they do have like the same inside you can probably see it a bit better on this one because the color's a bit lighter but yeah like you've got your hooks you've got your adjustable strings and the comb hooks up here as well and again that parting is there so it looks nice and natural so i'm just going to literally put this on the same way as before just putting it on roughly and then you can and then it's just a bit easier to adjust so yeah um when it's in position you can just do the same and just grab it and just anchor it into your wig cap and your hair this one has very long bangs curtains I probably need to trim the bangs on this one because they're like going in my eyes because they're long this is the mint green one what do we think i think it looks super shiny this one is so mermaidy like i actually love this i feel like a mermaid in this what do we think of this wig i think i love the color i think it's very cute again super comfortable and super soft i feel like i'm gonna use this one in my final uni project because i'm doing like a mermaid look and i think this just gives off mermaid vibes completely i love it every time i take off a wig this wig cap is getting messier and messier so let's ignore that if you're just wearing a wig like one wig then it will stay fine but because i'm like taking them on and off like it's getting a little messy now I'm just gonna like store the wigs all properly how they were before because you've got like a wig net on just to keep the wig all in place keep all the hairs in one place and it's just a really nice way to store it next up is purple in here like it's the same wig cap that i've got on 
Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. Uh, this colour is so nice. Let's put this one on. They're really easy to like make fit, make to make fit on your head because you can adjust them. I'm obsessed with this one. How cute is this? I love this colour. So like you can, they're short wigs, so you probably like can't style them as much as you could a long wig. But like you can pin like little bits back. You can like you could have like little bunches. You could do like little bunches like this. Should I do it? But how cute is this? Oh, I love it. Green probably isn't the best colour to go with purple, but I mean, you can kind of style the wigs how you need to. I feel like a little anime character. Okay, I actually think the wig looks so cute with the little bunches. How cute is this one? Again, like, I love the wave in them and the bangs hide everything. Like, this is a really nice one. Um, like, if your hair's, like, poking through here, like, the bangs hide it. So, these are really, really good, good wigs to have. What do we think of this one, then? I think I really like this purple colour. Like, this one might actually be my favourite. I'm just prancing around the house in this one now because I love it. I think this is my favourite one. Like, and this little hairstyle that I've done with it as well is so cute. Yes, purple is my favourite colour so far. It might be topped by the pink, but so far the purple one does it for me. I fully don't even want to take this wig off because it looks so cute. I have took loads of pictures in this one because I think it looks so cute. Okay, but the time has come where I do need to take it off. It's time for the pink one now. Watch how messy my wig cup's going to be underneath this. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. I've took on enough three wigs now, so that's why it looks a mess. I think they're so good for, like, makeup looks. Like, they really bring a look together. I can't lie to you. My wig cap is barely even on my head anymore. Next up is pink. Um, I feel like this is going to make me look like Stephanie from Lazy Town. Um, I hope you understand that reference because that is a reference from my childhood. This colour is so cute. It's so, like, candy, flossy, bubblegum pink. Putting it on roughly is a good idea because then you can just fix it up and like adjust it to your head shape. Pink is taking my heart. I do love pink a lot as well, I'm not going to lie. I think pink and purple are my favourites because they're so cute. She do little pigtails. Okay, how cute are these little pigtails? I love every style with these wigs. They're just so comfortable, so soft and so easy to wear. Like, I could genuinely wear one of these wigs for the day. If you do like makeup looks or like you need like a cosplay wig, a fancy dress wig or just a wig to wear because I would genuinely wear these like on a daily, um, then check out the link in the description because I've actually loved all of these wigs. Leave a comment of which one you think has suited me the most. I think for me it's between like pink or purple. Um, I did do a look with this one, like I did like a pink butterfly look and I think this wig brought the whole look together so nicely. Like before I put on the wig, like the look was like, mm, it looks okay, but I will insert a picture of the look I did. And I think the wig made it look so good. But yes, I love them all. They are such nice quality wigs. Okay, let's get this mess of a wig cap off now because my hair is escaping it. So it's back to normal head me now. Um, I actually love trying on wigs. I think it's super fun. Um, I actually loved all of these. I think they're all really nice quality. I love wigs with bangs because they're like just easier to put on and I think they look really good as well. Um, yeah, comment which one you thought suits me the most because let's see what you guys think so um if you want to get your hands on any on any of these wigs i'm putting all the information in the description so check that out and yes um i will see you in my next video